I'm forgetting. Something important. Something's not right. I can see that they applied all the tech that they've had through all the previous games into this. I'm looking forward to it. So a much. Long time coming, but Alan Wake 2 looks incredible. Thank you to Sam and Remedy for that first look at gameplay. Now let's get a first look at the co-op campaign of Warhammer Space Marine 2 from Saber and Focus. Please, more than just that one minute. We're facing and a Tyranid splinter fleet. Yes! They engaged us on two planets. Let's go. Avarax and Kadaku. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Ooh, my be God, it's gorgeous. Ha <laughs> ha. Please drop us a release date. Three players. Oh, that's dope. Yo, I'm gonna need some battle brothers to join me on this adventure. Oh, there's more. This winter. So what? It's Christmas. So that right there was my reaction to Jeff Keighley at the Summer Games Fest just casually dropping some new gameplay of uh, Space Marine 2 and my god is it a looker of a game. It's so good but that's not of course the main thing that was announced. What was so great about it is that we are officially confirmed that there will be co-op mode and boy am i excited uh, how long has it been since we had a game that allowed us to do that like space marine one does have mods that uh, a lot of people have included there so that you can actually play a campaign with some friends but finally we get to see a modern and i can't stress enough such a good looking game that we're going to be playing once more Deathwing was nice, but this is something else. With it was of course some CGI shots, so we may see some CGI trailer dropping soon. A lot of uh, cool, um, should we say easter eggs? Or maybe not, like some hidden gems here and there. Like Titus's Battle Brothers being concerned about his being there on these two worlds, which might actually insinuate that we may be in more than just one world dealing with the Tyranids invasion. We're facing a Tyranid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets, Avarax and Kadaku. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Now, there is an instant in the trailer where they are like waiting who is going to be killing more Xenos. And Anul is looking a lot, f a lot more fun than usual and some, I don't know, perhaps some people may have some issues with uh, the trailer being a bit too heroic. I had some comments on that in the previous video, but... Uh, I don't really mind this, this is going to be a fun hack and slash and we don't know about the story just yet, it, it may be a lot more darker than we think, especially with that last little hidden shot there with a portal opening. Now for those of you who have played Bolt Gun, you will know that uh, that is very similar to some of those uh, Zinch portals where the demon will be popping out and those that I can observe at least from the steel frame from that shot look very much like uh, the horrors of Zinch, but uh, I may be just seeing wrong. But hopefully we may see a lot more of that in the future and perhaps, if uh, my dream isn't too far-fetched, the inclusion of a Primarch, finally, either Rabute himself or 
Magnus, that would be fun. Like, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters is the latest game where we've seen the inclusion of a Primarch in the form of Mortarion. So why not go full-scale awesome with this one? That would be great. But guys, when comes winter, because we haven't gotten an exact date yet, we will be purging in co-op modes with lots of friends and uh, perhaps uh, if I'm lucky enough, I may be doing some collab with some other YouTubers. That would be fun. That said though, thank you for watching the Empress Protect and uh, see you during winter with Space Marine 2 or oh, whenever they drop something new.